In this tutorial, you'll get detailed instructions on how to use Plan My Night to schedule and automatically run observation sessions. You need to be connected to your telescope to include live mosaics and multi-night observations in your program. To create a new observation program, go to the Plan My Night screen and choose, Create a Plan. Choose the observatory, in other words, the observation site where the program will run, then validate your choice. Choose the date on which the observation program is to run. Singularity will specify available observation times based on sunrise and sunset. Activate advanced observations to include live mosaic captures and multi-night observations in your plan. Ensure you are connected to your instrument to enable these features. Validate your choice. The objects you choose for your observation program will appear in a zone located in the top section of the screen. A list of observable objects is provided in the bottom section of the screen. A blue bar for each object shows the interval of time during which the object is observable, according to certain criteria. You can filter the proposed objects and specify custom criteria. To do this, touch the filter icon. You can choose from all objects in the catalog, just from favorites, or only from those you defined in manual targets. You can filter by category of object, such as galaxies and nebulae only. You can also filter objects according to their height above the horizon. Finally, you can specify a minimum period of time during which the objects must be observable. Touch the back arrow to return to the main interface, to view the list of proposed objects based on the newly defined criteria. Multi-night observation projects that meet the criteria and match your telescope's current filter configuration will appear at the top of the list. If some projects aren't visible, check the filters currently installed on your telescope and ensure they match the requirements for the multi-night observation project. If you already know which object you want to add to the program, touch the search icon and enter its name. To add an object to the observation program, touch its name or its observation bar. The object will be added to the schedule in the top portion of the screen. The curve shows the height variations of the object above the horizon. Use the cursors to set the observation start and end times you want for this object. Press the pencil button to edit the advanced observation settings. You can enable mosaic capture and adjust the framing. You can also start a new multi-night observation project directly from this screen. Validate your entry. You can now add other objects to the observation program in the same way. If you want to modify or even delete the observation times for an object, touch the zone that corresponds to that object. When you're satisfied with your observation schedule, press save. Go back to the Plan My Night Start screen to view the list of your observation programs. To launch an observation program, you must be connected to your observation station. It doesn't however need to have already been initialized. Initialization is automatic when you start your schedule. Just before your observation program is scheduled to start, go to the Plan My Night screen, choose the program to run, then touch the start button. If you already ran a program beforehand, the results of that program will be deleted. Make sure you recover any images from the previous schedule before running a new one. For demonstration purposes, we'll launch a simpler, shorter program. Your telescope will now automatically capture the objects you defined in the program without your active involvement. Singularity doesn't need to be active and your smartphone or tablet doesn't need to stay connected to your telescope. When the observation program is finished, your telescope's arm will automatically return to its closed position. You can manage how your observation program runs. Touch the schedule in progress to display its details. Touch the object being observed to view the capture directly, as if it was a traditional observation. Touch the back arrow to once again display the program progression view. When your observation station has finished observing the object, it will automatically move on to the next object in the sequence, as defined in the program. 
Here is how to view and recover observation program results once complete. Go to the Plan My Night screen, then choose Plan Finished. Touch each of the objects to view the image captured. Use the usual singularity commands to save and share the image. Observation program results remain available until another program is launched.